everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last time I did a random marker challenge video was around the same time last year and it was a three marker challenge. And ever since I posted that video I wanted to try to do it again but make things a little bit harder for me which I actually gonna probably regret later but I thought that it would be so much fun to try the one marker challenge video. And when it comes to the hopes for my challenge, as you can see, I'm dressed a little bit uh, Christmassy, like green and red is kind of like Christmas tree look. So this is what I attempt to do today because I want to uh, make a wintry Christmassy drawing. So this is the topic and the wish for my today's video, but we'll see how it's gonna go. And now maybe let's uh, stop talking and let's just uh, blind choose the marker. Alright, so here are all my markers now. I was actually so surprised and shocked to see how many of them I have, but well, I'm happy about it. What can I do? Uh, and now let's uh, just uh, blind pick the one marker for today's challenge. And I just hope it's not gonna be black or any kind of uh, light color. Alright, let's get it started. Oi. This is the marker that I'm gonna be using today and... <gasps> no! Oh my god, it's a green! It's a green color from Art of the Fly, it's uh, 53 BG. So this is what we're gonna be using today and I'm so happy about it. So, uh, I'm so shocked that I got what I wanted and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, create something using only this marker. Alright, so these are all the materials that I think that I'll be using in today's video. I think that these will be quite essential, especially the marker. And well, since I don't have any particular idea for my drawing yet, I just know that I want to make it look Christmassy, wintry and all that good stuff. So uh, this is the general concept, but that's why I have this sketchbook that I use for some random messy sketches. So I'm gonna... We just try to sketch the concept for today's drawing and see what I come up with and then I'll choose what I'll draw. And I'm taking my obvious favorite Prismacolor Cole Erase and uh, I'm just gonna start sketching very loosely to see where this is gonna take me. And uh, well, the only thing that I want to have in today's drawing, I want Dagger to wear scared because this is something that I kind of rarely draw so uh, I thought that this will be something more festive also and this might be looking cool with the uh, wintery theme of the drawing I think I also want to include those uh, funny Christmas sweaters. I think it would be super cool, especially with this green color that I have to use today. So here is my first concept. To be honest, I really like it and I think that I might go with this one, but I also want to see what else can I come up with and then I'll decide uh, when I have a little bit more sketches to choose from. Alright, so I think that's kind of enough because i am already kind of decided that I'm gonna go with this sketch because I think it just looks cool. And well, if I think that something is gonna look good as an illustration, I just don't like to waste too much time on figuring out uh, other concepts. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this one today. I might fix a couple of things, but we'll see during the uh, drawing process. And I'm taking my SMLT Bristol sketchpad. And if you watch my early Christmassy haul, you probably saw this sketchbook. And a lot of people were saying that this paper is actually really good for markers. So I'm gonna test that out today. Hmm, cool. Hmm, it's actually quite thick to be a marker pad. And this is something that I really like, so... 
yeah, now I'm gonna sketch the whole concept again here, more uh, refined, more detailed, and then we're gonna proceed to the coloring. All right, so I started off with the idea that I chose from my initial sketches and I started to sketch it on the actual piece of paper that I'm later on gonna color, obviously. And well, when I was sketching it, something didn't feel right about this drawing. It was too stiff, it didn't feel natural. And well, I just got this feeling that I don't want to continue with this one because I kind of knew deep down that I wasn't gonna like it. So well, in this situation, the only thing that you can actually do is to start over with either the same kind of idea or just change it totally, change it slightly, it's up to you and just make a new drawing. And this is what I did in this uh, case. And well, unfortunately, I didn't record when I was just uh, erasing the whole thing and starting over. But you can see that the sketch is already a little bit different than the previous one. I still kept the idea from the first sketch. I still wanted to have a girl with longer curly wavy hair, a uh, Christmas sweater and skirt and this kind of cute girly girl in general. So this is what I sticked with and the only thing that I changed was a pose and yeah, ma mainly the pose and uh, this new pose gave this drawing a totally different feeling and it was just better right away. So I was glad that I managed to fix that little mistake and this little problem that I had at the beginning with my first sketch. And well, after the sketch was completed, I was really happy with it and I could continue on with uh, coloring it with my one marker. And well, as you could see at the beginning of the video, I was so happy with the choice of marker. I got so lucky that I couldn't even believe it that this was happening, that I got what I wanted. So I was extremely, extremely satisfied with my pick. And well, once I started coloring the sketch in, uh, I was afraid that it's gonna look a little bit just off and well, weird. Because when you work with only one color, it's really hard to uh, make things pop, make things darker, make things, let's say, different texture. It's all of that stuff that you can achieve with multiple tools and multiple colors. Now, obviously, it's gone. So, well, uh, it was really hard for me at the beginning to get used to the fact that I'm only using one color because everything looked so flat and so just weird so uh, i was trying to push myself and tell myself it's gonna be fine it's gonna look cool and well it eventually did because when i started to add more details i started to shade the whole illustration with the same marker so i could achieve at least a little bit different saturation of the uh, color that i had and then the whole illustration started to look put together everything came along and I was just so glad that um, I told myself like it's gonna be fine and well it was. But I really do think that uh, in this case what really helped to um, make this illustration better and even in this tiny little bit made it more interesting is definitely the outline, the white gel pen and this uh, colored pencil in the same color as my marker that I allowed myself to use. And I hope it wasn't cheating because it was actually almost the same shade as the marker. I mean, not almost, it was the same shade of the marker, but it was just different tool. So, well, I hope that that counts as just one marker challenge, one color challenge in this case. And well, I'm really, really glad that I achieved this Christmassy look vibe that I was going for. I think that this illustration came out super cool and I know I said it probably 10 times already in this uh, voiceover, but I hope you guys don't mind. And well, I think that would be all for me rambling about uh, this uh, illustration and the challenge itself. And now I just want to wish you a Merry Merry Christmas. I hope you're gonna spend a wonderful time with your family and friends. And uh, yeah, that you're gonna feel this uh, awesome atmosphere around you and you're gonna have a awesome time with uh, people that you love. And for those people that maybe don't celebrate Christmas, I also wish you just a cool time and maybe also spend some time with your friends and family. It's always a good idea and option. 
And uh, yeah, that would be all for the voiceover part. And now I'm gonna leave you to enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you by the end of it. So this is how the finished illustration looks, completed only with uh, one marker and one little colored pencil, but everything in the same color scheme. And well, to be honest with you guys, I really love how this one turned out and well, I love this wintry vibe of it and I think that this Christmas sweater is just out of this world, it's super awesome and I'm so happy with this illustration and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video too. Alright you guys, and that is all for today's one marker challenge and definitely let me know how did you like it, how did you like the drawing and do you think I actually managed to create a cool illustration using only one color? Let me know. And uh, well, that would be all for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Also remember about subscribing to my channel because that's a huge help for me and for my channel to grow and uh, I would appreciate that a lot. And also you can follow me on my Instagram where I post a lot of behind the scenes, work in progress, uh, pictures and videos and all that cool art related stuff. So go and check that out also. And yeah, I'll be finishing up this video and uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching again. And I'm excited to see you in my upcoming videos. Take care guys. Bye bye. I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now